Five races down and CRL now heads to Sao Paulo for the Brazilian Grand Prix. And in true Brazilian Grand Prix fashion, Tier 2's qualifying found the drivers having to handle wet conditions. Among the top 10 drivers, it was Golding Noop who took pole position by attempt for Mercedes de Rouge. Dragon took third place ahead of Toves to complete the second row of the grid. With qualifying all said and done, what other challenges will the drivers now face in the race? And here we go, that appears to be a good start by Big Balls and the leaderboard is completely broken. That appears to be Daru trying to go up the inside. I don't know if everyone's going to the drivers, but Daru up to the lead. There's a spin in there, there's a red ball. There's a few drivers having problems there. Tobes in second. Uh, I can't tell any more than that because I can't see the next car. Panda's disqualified from the session. This is not an ideal start. Um, well, Panda's still on the grid, interesting. Okay, Captain Nick in third. There's been a safety car. Looks like Luca, the reserve, has gone off wide. Is it Mangello? Still not going. Holding up the field down. Now he's gone. It looks like he got a good getaway. Pulling away from Tobes. Although now reeling him in as he uses his ERS. Oh, Daru preserves his playing the long game. Carl and Real DC. Well, they're side by side. Go back to this camera. Bit of contact between the Claren and Godinu. That's Claire Piar and Godinu. Looks like the other, yeah, the other Alfa Romeo threw Alfa Romeo up to 6th and 7th. No, no, we might see Golly Noob get past Carl here. He's got his DRS and his ERS. Carl aggressively trying to keep the inside line, but not quite closing the door enough. Golly Noob threw Carl looking for the cutback. Not able to get it. And it's actually slightly too close to get the cutback, it seems. Yeah, a little bit of contact there. All he's alongside. Wait, where is he gone? Oh, it's the car in front. Oh, he actually got past, that's why I went to that car. Golly Noob holds it around the outside, a little bit of contact again there. Amazed there's been no fly in front wings. Golly Noob, it seems he's got the pass complete. Nick not close enough to go for the move. Might look for it here. Both drivers not very good with the amount of ERS they have. Ah, now that Tobe's on the grass for a bit. That might be enough. Yet yeah, Tobes doesn't hold around the inside. Could have given him slightly less room and instead plays it safe. Leaves him enough room and Captain Nick through to the lead. So Captain Nick, it's a question of can he come out in front of anybody else who doesn't need to pit again. Uh, and he is behind Daru and somehow behind Real DC. Must have had a bad pit stop then. But yeah, Sadistic King will be pissing the next couple of laps for softs. It's real DC, sends it past his teammate. Now the driver on the older tyres. Captain Nick also looking to get past, and there we go, through past Aerovoice. Oh, well, apparently not. Aerovoice with much more DRS, sorry, ERS. Goes deep. Now they'll also let Golly Noob through for free. And Captain Nick's got past Real DC somewhere when I wasn't paying attention. Looks like Golly Noob's also got past Real DC. But interestingly, Golly Noob opted for hard, and that put him at a disadvantage now, but an advantage in the last few laps. Once the older tyres are starting to wear down. He's through. Very respectful racing. Just leaving each other enough room while still keeping it competitive. And that is a safety car. Why is that a safety car? I saw a bit of debris from the Williams there. Maybe in that contact that caused it. But yet, there he goes. Oh, and now Godly Noob right alongside Daru. This is good for Captain Nick if they're going to be fighting. Yeah, and he's straight through, although he would more likely want Daru fighting him. Oh, and Daru may have just died. Daru's just died. Now that has not brought out a safety car. Dragon passing Tobes. Ooh. Looks the cutback will actually drag him perfectly, times that breaking point, manages to park it on the apex. Tobes could have tried to sweep it around the outside, but I don't think he was quite expecting Dragon to hold the line that well. He's looking for the cutback and it wasn't going to happen. Car. That's an on track retirement. I think that may have been a car into the wall. 
and that's a safety car. Too close. Dragon, not a great start by him. Uh, and it looks like Pheasant Pluck is already getting two positions. I don't think the game will be too happy with them there. Oh, looks for another, not able to get it. Now these guys were looking for payback. And much as exciting that battle is, we are going to join the battle up front for the lead. Golly Noob to cross the line up front in second position. Captain Nick in first, and our race winner, provisional race winner, I must say. Dragon on Speed Club, Yard Tobes. Oh, all this changed in the midget panels is. Interesting. Despite Godly Noob crossing the line first, time penalties meant Captain Nick would take the victory. Noob would retain second place ahead of Dragon to complete the podium. Both McLarens of Juan and Klerpa had a great race finishing 4th and 5th, meaning great points for the Constructors' Championship. Tobias, Sadistic, KXI, Big Balls and Erevoice completed a top 10. It wasn't a great race for Alex TG as he finished 13th. Although Alex does retain the lead in the championship, Dragon now has cut the gap from 43 points down to 18. A big blow in the championship, but what will the next race in Austria provide in the story of the championship?